Howdy folks, welcome back. Chopping a bit because it's been a while since my last post. So in this trip, we're heading out from Hawksby with a couple of mates and uh, today I'm riding shotgun. In the driver's seat we've got none other than yours truly, Snemo Westra. And out the back, <laughs> out the back there we've got another mate, um, Ty. Hello. So on the agenda for this trip, um, we're going to be doing a couple of nights boat camping at uh, this spot that I've recently discovered. I haven't actually been there yet, so uh, this is a bit of a research and development in this trip. As for now, we're almost at the boat ramp now, and we'll check back in when we're at the spot. Okay, so we just arrived at the spot. So as I mentioned earlier, I've never been to this spot. And it looks like a pretty awesome spot. Just give you a quick look at where we're at. Bit of a panoramic view. That's the boat out there. And we are in Barara Creek. It's part of the Hawkesbury River system. Yeah, so now it's just the challenge is just to find a nice flat spot to um, set up the tents. At the moment it's high tide, so I don't think the water's going to get up any higher. But uh, it isn't very flat here, so we have to... Set up just a bit behind the water, away from the trees. Yeah, so it's pretty good. There's a fire pit. Can you find an island? There's a fire pit there. Picnic tables and chairs. So there is no running water. So it's pretty rough bush camp spot, but there is a pit toilet. And I'll just bring you over here to have a look at the pit toilet. Sweet. And it's a little tucked away there. So we can do our number ones and number twos. I think we just set it up here, eh? Yeah. Alright, sweet. Okay, so the lads are just uh, unpacking all the gear now. I'll just give you a quick look at what we've brought. Seems like we've brought the whole house with us, but um, this spot is going to be home for the next two nights. So, uh, this camping trip is definitely not a survival trip or a bushcraft trip. It's more like glamping. Doing it gentleman style, so. Alrighty. So this looks like it, right next to the fire pit, where we got a welcome fire going. That's us all set up. You see three tents. Not really roughing it, but a bit more like glamping. <laughs> um, but right about now, there's a bit of thunder. I haven't seen any lightning yet. It seems like everywhere I go, I bring the rain with me. But as for now, we're gonna head off and try to um, drop some crab pots. Probably do a bit of coastal foraging uh, for some oysters and some mud whelks. Alright, chuck on here bro. It's no point going closer, I can't get to it. Just gotta remember this house. Thank 
was bucketing down and the rain was stinging my stinging our faces. So we're at my usual um, foraging spot here in Jerusalem Bay. Just give you a quick panoramic view. And the aim here is we're just gonna grab some oysters and mud whelks for our breakfast tomorrow. The lads are in there at it already. Who the guy? Yeah. Yeah, I'm playing. Yeah, so this is what we gather. Yep, hit the spot. You would have seen from my earlier foraging videos. That's what we're gathering. It's one of the species here. These are mud whelks or cone snails. And, um, they're quite a good delicacy in uh, Asian cuisine. We should gather enough for a feed. Yeah. Planning to do an, another oyster omelette, but this time with a bit of a variation. Got to add a bit of the, the snail meat to it. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, so right now, just making my way to where the oysters are. Like, so in case you're wondering why aren't smashing the tails, um, you go back check out one of my earlier foraging videos with these cone snails. If you don't smash the tails, there's no way of getting them the meat out of the shells. Okay, so um, it's time to get a bit of dinner on a pretty adventurous day and everyone's famished at the moment. So first up tonight, I'm going to put rice on and uh, on tonight's menu is just a few wagyu steaks, <laughs> some steamed rice and uh, a bit of kimchi and I'm eagerly anticipating tomorrow's catch and cook so we've got the crab pots out. Uh, breakfast is going to be oyster and mud whelks omelette and hopefully there might be some blue swim crabs or some mud crabs. That's for now. We'll start cooking and then uh, we'll check back in when it's time to eat. Pieces of lovely wagyu, a bit of um, Himalayan pig salt, a 
Um, there's chopstick and uh, knife in there too. Let's have a cheers, bro. Yeah, good food, good company, good location. Thank you for inviting me. Nice. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. So what do you reckon? Man, this is the best steak, man. And the spot. <laughs> <laughs> and the spot. Yeah. And the spot. Is a good bit. Mm. Mm. Oh, man. Uh, flat until, I think, 18 PSI. Oh, nice, it's a possum. It doesn't look like it's afraid of people, eh? Hey, buddy. How you going? Can you see it? Yeah, it's not scared at all. Oh, that's a good shot. Okay, off you go, buddy. Wow, how cool was that? That possum was um, really friendly. He just came right into the camp and he wasn't shy at all. He's probably uh, used to having people around feeding him properly. Right, so as mentioned earlier, I was going to give you a demonstration on. Um, what I'm going to be doing with these uh, mud wells. So just bring it in. I'm not sure if the lighting's picking up on the GoPro. That's a lovely plate of um, mud wells there that my mate Arn has prepared. Yeah, let's give you a close up on there. So the towers have been smashed off. Now what I'm going to do with these is um, just plunk them straight onto the hot coals because I didn't bring um, a lot of cooking gear. And once they they've cooked we'll take them off let them cool off a little bit and i'll remove the meat from the shells Let's go down. okay they're looking about done now Let's bring this one close you see that one's popping out there All right, so we'll take them off and let it cool down for a bit. That's our plate of cooked welts. And they're probably still pretty warm, but um, they're okay to handle now. So I'll just plonk this camera down and I'll give you a demonstration on what we do with these. So it's a close up on what one of those looks like. Yeah, so I'm, at this point in time, I'm just removing it from the shell and um, they're going to go into the omelette tomorrow with the oysters. Let's put it here in the seawater. So 
that bit there is just the guts there. I'm going to remove it and then the front part there, that's the meat that's edible. Well, it's all edible, but that's the palatable part. I'm going to continue to knock up these and um, we'll probably call it a night for tonight. Unless um, one of the guys get onto a very interesting fish. If not, then um, good night everyone and we'll see you all in the morning for breakfast. Does it feel stingrayish? <laughs> Wait, let's see what it is. Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh bloody oh. conger eel, bro. <laughs> shit! I did. Did your dad eat the other one last time? The conger eel. Yeah. No, we put it back in the No, we took it home, man. Okay. Let's have a look at it. That's scary. <laughs> okay, it's all yours, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Good morning, folks. So this is our first morning at this campsite here, and uh, it seems like it stopped raining. Also, I'm waking up to the sound of a lot of birds <laughs> that have been going out for the last couple of hours at the break of dawn. But I'll just give you a quick look at the view that we've got out here. It's quite lovely. <laughs> about last night there was the, uh, the mozzies were at bay and I didn't get a single mozzie yeah. I didn't get a single mozzie bait. just look at that yeah good morning okay so for the plan for today is um let the blokes sleep a little bit more and knock up a little bit of breakfast as mentioned um, it's gonna be an oyster omelette probably go check our crab pots and um, head to another spot see if we can get on some fish so the chaps got a few bites last night but it was nothing spectacular and they missed a couple of pretty good fish just can't seem to land them that's where we are now. It's time to knock out breakfast. So as mentioned earlier, on the menu today we're going to be having a lovely uh, oyster omelette. Now I know I made a video earlier uh, on this particular recipe. Uh, if you hadn't already seen that video, just go back and check it out. I'll attach it on the link above. The um, reason I'm doing this again is just because we're out camping and this is an awesome camping recipe because it's so simple, very minimal ingredients involved and uh, cooking utensils. So as for now, I'm going to quickly knock up the rest of the veggies and uh, we'll start cooking. All the veggies being prepared, I'll just give you a quick look at the ingredients I'm doing today. Yep, so with those cut mushrooms, some onions, spring onions, they're our lovely oysters, eggs, and uh, it's going to be dressed with a bit of a squeeze of lemon. Now I was going to do the mushrooms separately on the side but um, being that it's a very minimalist uh, kitchen that I have here I'm going to combine them so it's going to be a mushroom and oyster and onion omelette. Alright, let's start it off. Just spray a bit of oil into the pan. Back it up. All right, so we'll let that onion brown do its thing. I'll add a handful of mushrooms now too. That'll be a nice hearty omelette. Right, so the mushrooms and the onions are cooking away nicely. They're about half done, so what I'll do now is we shall add the beaten egg in. Now, notice I've also added the spring onions to the egg. That just gives it a nice um, green touch to it. Add the oysters now. See how plump that oyster is. That's one of the most plump ones. Also, 
so what while it's cooking sprinkle a bit of salt in there as well maybe we should do that salt bathing <laughs> Okay, so the first one's ready. Um, <laughs> bit of a flop on this one, but uh, I'll make Snapper Maestro's uh, volunteer to have it. <laughs> I, I, I mean, it doesn't look good, but it will, I reckon it'll taste good. So, yeah, that name's gonna stick forever, eh? <laughs> Tell us what you think, bro. Get a bit of everything. So, look at that. Oh, yeah, nice mushroom. Is that oyster in there? There's an oyster in there. Oh, there's an oyster in there. All right, down the hatch. Want some Tabasco? Yeah, definitely new Tabasco. Yeah, there you go. But overall, yeah, a very uh, minimalistic uh, dish. Beats me, I'll tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it tastes really good, though. Enjoy, bro. I'll knock up number two and number three. Should be in the improvement in the batch. Huh? Should be in the improvement batch. <laughs> I think I know what you're gonna say for this improvement already. You can take a guess, bro. Right? There's a bit of shell in there. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you recommend your omelette, bro? Uh one of the best man. Yeah? Mm. Glad you enjoyed, bro. Bloody Let's have a look at yours. Is um the improved version? The, the improved version. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, All right. Better than the restaurant one, <laughs> for sure. So the plugs are all sorted for breakfast. Now it's my turn to eat. Yeah. So tide's slowly rising. Should be just in time for me to finish my breakfast. And also, my other mate, um, the fishing maestro, is going to be meeting up with us today. So that's going to be uh, that's going to be awesome when he gets here. So as for now, I'm going to kick back, enjoy this breakfast, and uh, we'll wait for the tide. But um, just to keep these videos short and sweet, I'll end this video as part one, and uh, stay tuned for part two, um, who will be day two of this uh, this boat camp trip. So I'll see you then.